Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is to read a string and count total number of characters and words available in it. So the objective of the program is return in the first statement with the help of comment. Then in second statement, I have included a header file stdr.h for printf and getf function. Then main function is used. Inside main function, there are various uh, statements in which first is string declaration. Second is integer variable declaration. Then I have, then I have used printf statement. Uh, it will be displaying enter a string message on console. Then getf function is used. It will read the entered string inside str array. Now for loop is used to count total number of characters and words. So uh, character means uh, we have to count uh, each letter or digit or special symbol which is available on various indexes of array or string. Now what about words? Words means combination of characters terminated by space. So uh, if we have a sentence uh, and that sentence uh, contains various spaces. So if we count number of spaces then we can easily find out the number of words because word ends with a space. So suppose my name is Sanjay Gupta. So how many spaces are there? Only one. So remember that the quantity of uh, words will be uh, one more than quantity of spaces. So in my name there is only one space. So how many words will be there? Two. If my name is Sanjay Kumar Gupta. So how many spaces are there? Two. One after Sanjay, one after Kumar. So how many words will be there? three words. So uh, if uh, we are able to count a total number of spaces, then we can uh, print number of words, number of words by increasing uh, one in number of uh, spaces. So uh, this for loop is doing uh, so uh, 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 the counting of uh, characters and words. So uh, first of all, uh, this loop is initialized with zero, then it is checking uh, its condition str of i not equals to zero. So if this condition is true, then c1 plus plus will be executed after this if condition is used str of i double equals to space so it is checking whether the character is equal to space or not so if this condition is true then only c2 will be incremented so this loop will repeat till this condition is true so uh, suppose this loop will repeat 10 times so 10 times c1 plus plus will be executed because 10 characters are available but uh, C2 will be increased whenever space will be uh, appeared. If there is no space, then C2 will remain zero. So remember that if uh, there is only uh, zero spaces available in a string, then also there is a one word. So after completion of this loop, this printf statement will print uh, number of characters with the help of C1 and second printf statement will print number of words with the help of C2 plus one. So C2 counted number of spaces and plus one uh, will uh, uh, print number of words. So I am compiling this code. No errors and warnings are there. Now I am executing this code. So I am entering Sanjay Gupta. So how many spaces are there? One. So it means total number of words are two. So characters are 12. Uh, Sanjay contains six. Gupta contains 5 and 1 is space so total characters are 12 and number of words are 2. Again I am executing this code so now I am entering one character then space then one character then space then one character then space then one character and enter. So you can see that I have entered A, B, C, D 4 characters and uh, total number of spaces are 3 so total characters are 7 and three characters that's why total number of words are four so with the help of this execution uh, you uh, you are able to understand the concept behind this program so implement this code on your laptop or desktop so that you can uh, easily understand the working of string uh, these are my details you can call or write any email uh, regarding any difficult topic so that i can help you this is my website. You can also download my uh, Android app that is Stackimage from Google Play Store. Uh, you can download uh, various PPTs from tutorials.techmage.in link. You can read various uh, books related to programming languages. 
and you can watch my youtube channel uh, this youtube channel contains videos regarding various programming languages thank you for watching this video